Hi my friends, today I just want to share a couple of things with you. The first is of course, um, you can see is the watch. So I got this one last year September, okay, but I hardly use it. I went to the Rolex ID, saw this one, bought it, know nothing about watches, purely I like it, bought it, that's it. But I didn't think about how practical using or wearing this watch. So I got it, but hardly use it. Okay, so it's just sitting in my drawer all these months. Okay, in September last year, you know, I got it September and then in December last year, I went back to the Rolex and uh, just resized my, this watch because um, I did try to, to wear one time, but um, just a bit tight, so I went back in December. So when I was in a Rolex AD, um, when I was waiting for them to resize my watch, I uh, have a look around and I saw this watch. This watch, I didn't buy it at that time, I, because I thought, you know, I shouldn't waste my money again. And then, but after a few days, I still like this watch, so I called them back. And uh, they told me, they, you know, um, it got sold because Christmas time, everyone buying the Christmas present. So I went online, I bought this one through the online shop called Joma Shop. So then I got the uh, this watch, then this is my second time open that. The first time of course I received the watch and I have a look and all good and then uh, this, but I didn't use it until now, like after six months, anyway. So why, uh, of I just want to share, this is a beautiful one. Uh, for me, I think it's beautiful because I feel this one uh, not so practical for me because as I mentioned, you know, I'm, I'm not from a rich family and I don't have a rich um, husband or partner and I just normal person work nine to five and um, you know, I don't have my own business and that sort of thing, whatever. I have it just saved it uh, through my saving. So, so um, this one I like it at that time because I think it's not a rose gold, it's more low key, and you can see it's a silver color, very clean. And I love the, I, I just like it, I couldn't explain why. But do I need all these watches? Of course, you can. You can tell us no, because I bought it last year, the tax still here, I haven't really got any motivation to go to, you know, a watch shop to resize, to fit me. But today, um, when I show you, have a look at the watches, you might like to buy one of these. Um, I think in general, when you see people unboxing, they will say how beautiful it is, and then you know, very likely you'll buy it. But for me today, the video is, uh, actually it's opposite, I hope you don't buy it because I just feel these two watches is no use for me. Um, do I need it? No. But do I want it? Yes, at that time. But now everything is relative. Today, I, if you ask me do I want these two? No. Because if I have the same amount of money, I will use it for buying investment property. At the moment, I'm just downsizing from a biggest house to a smaller one, something good enough for me. And I just realized, not I just realized, but, but I just feel it's good to, um, it's important, maybe useful to share with whoever want to buy these watches, think twice, because these two might give you some increase down the track, but it's not much, you know, if you have any investment value. But if you buy investment property, and especially the interest rate going to increase, and then, you know, maybe have the market correction, and then maybe it's a good time for you to, to buy investment property. If I sell these two watches, you know, that will be enough for me as a, uh, an investment property deposit. So I might, I might one day sell it. Don't know yet, but. But why I'm saying that is, for a lot of us, we just keep buying stuff, but this stuff is really not helping us to increase our wealth. Is to be honest, is decreasing our wealth because these are not really income producing um, assets. If you buy investment property, they give you a rental income and, and obviously it's leverage. Let's say, you know, um, 
for half million dollar house, you just need maybe 10%. And then if a 5% increase, then you can imagine will be, you know, 25,000 a year. So whenever you want to buy expensive stuff, maybe think about it twice. Uh, more beneficial for you to buy income producing assets. Um, I hope uh, you just don't waste money like me. And I'm not saying these are not beautiful. Of course, they're beautiful. But, but at the moment, I'm very happy as usual just wearing these watches. And I don't really need to care about these watches. These is, I don't know how much, maybe $200. I don't know but anyway so I'm happy with that and um, I hope um, you can learn from my lesson um, spend you know wisely about your money and if you find it useful I hope this video useful because I just do something opposite with other people unboxing and tell you to buy I will just say don't buy it and use the money buy something probably give you better value in the long run you know you create your wealth and then will help you achieve financial freedom. And the freedom of time um, is the best. You know, you can do whatever you want, who you want, you know, when you want. It's better than just have this watch on your hand. So if you find it useful, please like it or subscribe so that I know that this is something people like to hear. And um, under the sun, they are very beautiful, but, but, but it won't give you uh, money each month to pay for your bills except you sell them but for investment property you get your rental income that helps think twice whenever you want to buy expensive stuff bye take care share with you next time